Hello, I'm Matthew DeCalzadilla, and what you're seeing is footage of my CS462 project for Fall 2023. The name of the game is Sunset Whopper, a breakneck vaporwave themed racing game set in a sunny beachside town. The game was made entirely using homemade assets and free assets from the Unity Store, as well as a couple sounds from freesounds.org. My original plan was to create a fast paced racing game with mad summer vibes. I wanted to infuse the world with a combination of Vaporwave and 50s Americana. And I wanted to have plenty of interactables along the track, like items that you can pick up and things that you can knock over, as well as hidden pads. So what went well for me is that the game is fun. The controls are solid, and they're intuitive enough that people without gaming experience have been able to finish the track. I pretty much nailed the Vaporwave aesthetic, and finally everything feels cohesive. All the assets merge well together to create a world that feels real, even though it's quite clearly not, as evidenced by the wackier track elements like loop-de-loops. I did almost all of the scripting for this project, including a lot of the car physics and sound design, so I'm really proud of how it turned out regardless, and I think the experience was invaluable. The sound and the music in particular turned out really nice. So what didn't go well? The level design has some flaws. There are shortcuts that take longer than the base path, which kind of defeats the point of a shortcut. Sometimes the speed boost can send you flying right off the edge too. Admittedly, I really nailed the 1980s vaporwave aesthetic, but I sort of forgot about the 1950s Americana along the way. Another thing that didn't go so well was Unity's steep learning curve. There are a lot of things that went wrong early on. Some of my early scripts are pretty badly written compared to my later stuff. And overall, I think if I'd started from scratch, I could create a much more solid and smaller implementation. And because I use a lot of static meshes in the city, there's a little bit of slowdown in that area. I think the game could overall be optimized a little bit more. What I would do next is I would add more tracks in different settings, island locations, and times of day. I would add more customizability options, you know, changing your car, your car settings, tuning your car, maybe using the points that you gain from races to upgrade your car in a shop, as was part of my initial dock. And finally, I would add AI racers. I know it's a big challenge, but I think there could be some interesting implementations of a physically based AI racer that could clear this track. So that was Sunset Whopper. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best of luck on your project as well.